on your new drawing, click Layout 1. Okay? You have to click your Layout 1. We are now trying to create a title block. We don't do it on the model. We do it on the Layout 1. Click that. You can see here a preset. A preset. This is 8.5 by 11. But the print area is much smaller. We're going to reset that. Okay, so all you need to do is to select the entire paper. So once you select the entire paper, press delete. So now, on the layout one, right click, then select page setup manager. Click that one. And a dialog box for page setup manager will going to appear. Then you can click new or we can simply modify the existing one. Okay. We just modify the existing one. So click modify. Then here another dialog box will going to appear. And this one is a page setup dialog box. Now click yung printer platter. Select Ito, AutoCAD PDF High Quality Print. Do not select any other PDF copy, just like Adobe PDF, Adobe uh, AutoCAD PDF General Documentation. Select this one, yung AutoCAD PDF High Quality Print. Okay, select that one. Then now, we're going to select your paper, the paper size. On your paper size, Select on the upper part, find 8.5 by 11, and see full bleed 8.5 by 11. Take note, select only a paper having a size of 8.5 by 11 inches, having a description of full bleed. You have that on your paper size. All you to do is to scroll it up. Okay. Once you select that, your your setting now is ANSI full bleed A, eight point five by eleven inches. On the plot area, what to plot? Here on the drop down. It must be layout. Do not change it to any other setting. Only layout. Okay. So now, on your plot scale, since we are choosing custom and the units of your paper is in inches, 1 inches must be 25.4 units. What is 25.4 units here? The 25.4 units here is the conversion of inches to millimeter. Okay. Do not change that. Or if you don't have that kind of scaling, change it to this example. Okay. It must be 1 inch equals 25.4 units. Because on your model, you will going to draw a figure in millimeter okay so those are the following properties that you have to make then on the plot style table if you don't have this one you have here an arrow just click that arrow again on your plot style table that is a pen assignment since we're using layers different color of layers we're going to change it to monochrome this one okay then next do not change anything on the plot options and just proceed to drawing orientation on your drawing orientation you have here portrait landscape landscape and plot upside down you're going to do the title block landscape 
to choose landscape then press ok once you press ok you will going to notice that the preset band paper here or the layout will going to change yung printable area to maximum settings okay close we'll going to create two layer first okay two layer the first layer is T block default color line weight is 0.40 another layer here is depth points depth points must be correctly spelled it must be DEF P O I N T S. Okay. The line weight is default and also default color. But we can make it to differentiate it to the title block. We can change we can change it to gray. Okay. Then press close. So we have now two layers here. So now we don't have any snap on the corner. So you have to zoom it as much as possible. Here. Then you have now to draw the paper. Okay? You can lock in the ortho mode. Then you can now type the first is 279. Okay? 279.4. What is 279.4? That is the length of your coupon band or the 8.5 by 11 in millimeter. Okay. If you don't want to type that measurement, you can just type here 11, enter, then going down, that is 8.5. Okay. So, ganito na lang. You can use this method. Okay. Then, since this is the size of, a, of an actual paper of the coupon band, you can just scale this one. Scale, enter, here, then 25.4. Okay. Diba? And if you're going to measure it, so this one is, yeah. okay, so you have 20, uh, 279.4. Now, if you don't want that process, you can just type 279.4 and this one. That is 215.9. Okay, so that is the dimension of your perimeter. Then select the entire drawing, yung perimeter nyo plus the dimension, and set it to depth points. Okay. Why depth points? Because the depth points layer will not going to appear on your printer. Okay, now we're going to offset it by 10 millimeter. So offset, enter, 10. So offset natin by 10. So that will be your border. So now, clean. Since you are not using a rectangle command, you can just trim this one. So next method is to convert this one, again, a conversion of layer to T-block. So it must be T-block. Okay, so it must be a title block. Okay, so next is, we can offset this one going here by 25. Then we can draw or we can divide this line here. So once you have that, so all we need to do is this box on the right corner. So we can remove this line. Okay. So this is now our title block for the 8.5 by 11. 
So next, we can divide it by 3. So we can offset it or we can just draw here a line. Okay, so ganito method na lang. So I don't have an exact measurement for that. Okay. So this is now your paper. This is your title block. So what you're going to write here is your name. So you can now use a multi-line text here. that is 2.5 you can make it 3 okay so that is your name you can center it We try to write, to write our name. Okay. 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 So we continue. In the second row, we're going to write here your subject. So that is CE124G dash. W A L you can write colon and computer E dead drafting then below you can write here yung schedule okay schedule instructor na lang okay. engineer James Francis the Aguilar okay. so these are the following informations that you're going to write on your title block So now, let's print it. You can just press Ctrl. Okay, ito. Or you can just press, uh, click this one. So print. Click the A. And print. And change. Choose pala. Choose your settings. Choose only. Continue to plot a single sheet. Okay, do not change any settings because we have already uh, make a changes before we type the title blocks. Okay, ito yung output. Okay. So, this is now your output. So, if you're going to print it, you can just click this one, plot. Then, let's say we save it here. T block. So, this is now under PDF. Press enter. So, ito na siya. On your model, proceed to insert. Then, browse. Find your drawing. Click open. Do not change any parameter here. Be sure that your units in millimeter. Okay. Insertion point. This is now your drawing. Now, if you're going to open it, how many layers do you have? That is now plus 3. Diba? Plus 3. So what happened? That is because the layer of your drawing that you have inserted is also inserted on your drawing. Okay? Now, on your layout, click natin ito. Here, type MV. That is M view. 
enter, select the upper part. Then, select a lower right corner. So, wala naman to specific size. As long as makagawa kayo ng box. Kasi papasok yung drawing doon. Okay? Then, after that, double-click inside. Now, you can move it. Since we're going to print unscaled, you can just zoom it. Yung kaya ng drawing. Tayo. Okay. Ito na yung actual drawing. Okay. Kung tapos na kayo mag-set, diba nag-zoom in tayo? So, ano ba ba nandito yung drawing nyo? Double-click, outside the paper. Okay. And... You can then you can adjust kung may naputol na part. Ito lang. So, ito na yung paper. So, once you have this one, you have now two kind of view. You have two views here. The first one is the model view. This is the model view. If you double click inside, you have an access to your model. If you double click outside the paper, you have an access to your paper. If you zoom in inside of the model view, ang gumagalaw is yung model, yung scale ng model. And if you are done scaling your model, all you need to do is to double click outside. That is the same with this method. If you type M view, ay, sorry, M space. If you type that, tapasok kayo sa model. If you type P space, you're going to exit on the model view. Okay? And this is now the appearance. If you click this corner, you have an access to the perimeter of your model view. Then next, yung model view it must be set to depth points. Dapat naka depth points yung model view. Okay? So now, press Ctrl P. Then, click Preview. Oops, we have a problem with the drawing. I'm just going to check the layers because it is unprintable. Ayun. Again. Okay. So I forgot to insert pala is naka def points. Dapat naka zero. If you notice, you have here the line weight. So line weight is also applied. The dimensions is much thinner compared to the drawing. Then yung output is, if you notice, it is alive. Why? Because broader yung uh, light weight. Then you have now the output. Okay, so I'm going to try to print it, huh? Wala naman yata naging problema. So, okay, so print tayo. So let's print it, then desktop. So pangalan na natin. Well, Fidela Cruz. Okay, isometric. Okay, so we have now isometric. Then printing it, we're going to have your copy. 